This top five video from CES 2016 is brought to you by Mastrop. While I may not wear a fitness wearable, we all know I'm not trendy anyway, so that doesn't prevent fitness from being our first trend here at CES 2016. The Fitbit Blaze watch improves on their previous fitness watch, The Surge, in a few ways. It's got a color display, their Fit Star program with three built-in workouts and animations showing you how to do them. It's compatible with over 200 mobile devices and the battery will last for five days of actual use. The Sensoria Athlete 2000 is a prototype workout suit that uses sensors to track body temperature, fatigue, balance, impact force, running cadence, and more. The whole suit is just a prototype, but you can get a bundle that includes a top for men or sports bra for women, a chest sensor, and an anklet sensor called the Fitness Running System for $400. The Under Armour Gemini 2 with Speed Form is a distance tracking shoe. It's not GPS based, instead using accelerometers for accurate motion tracking, and Under Armour says this is more accurate than wearing something on your wrist since the sensor is actually on your foot. It transmits data via Bluetooth and can actually store data without a smartphone for five workouts at a time and push to it later on. The shoes are $130. Trend number two is smart home products and automation. The Lyric Water Freeze and Warning Detector from Honeywell can be put anywhere where there could be a leak or a pipe freeze, on a tub, under the pipes of your house, and will warn you with a push notification and email if the temperature drops below a certain threshold. The Samsung Family Hub Smart Fridge is actually more than just a tablet stuck to a fridge. It's got a huge 21 and a half inch touchscreen and lets you do all kinds of food related things. You can order groceries, you can look up recipes, and it's got cameras inside so you can see what food you have while you're out at the store so you don't end up buying duplicates. The Soma Bar Robotic Bartender is kind of like a Keurig for alcohol. It's got three clear compartments that hold alcohol and mixers with for a total of 750 mils. You tell the machine through the app what's in the compartments and it's got 300 recipes built in or you can create your own. You can even add bitters and the machine will flush itself out between uses so things will taste right. It comes in at a pricey $429, but that's certainly a lot cheaper than even a few nights out at the bar with friends, so it might be a justifiable purchase. It'll be available sometime in quarter two. Trend number three is display technology. And this one's kind of a broad one, but there's a lot going on. And Panasonic is showing off transparent displays that look like part of a living room curio slash display cabinet. So it's essentially a window and a display in one. You can also use it as both, for example, if you just want it to display weather info or sports scores in one spot and be able to see through the rest of it. Speaking of seeing through the rest of it, BMW was showing off a concept motorbike helmet with an augmented reality heads up display that sits right in front of the rider so as not to destroy distract him or her. And Panasonic, LG, and Samsung are all starting to incorporate HDR or high dynamic range technology into their higher end TVs. Now this doesn't look like it's just a gimmick like the bad HDR capture in some smartphones and there is even an industry-wide certification process in order to be certified. What HDR means is they can reproduce more colors and more accurate colors than most other displays. Which leads us to OLEDs no longer being only present in smartphones and televisions. No, my friends, Dell's got a desktop monitor and Lenovo has a notebook, both of which feature OLED displays that hopefully address the issue with OLEDs and burn in on static images, something that can be an issue with things like the taskbar. Tech trend number four is drones, where we're starting to see drones capable of doing more than just kind of awkwardly flying around and recording video. The Ehang 184 can actually carry a freaking person as long as they're brave enough to get into it. The Parrot Disco ditches the traditional quadcopter look and instead has wings like an airplane. Did I mention it's capable of going 50 miles per hour? And the unique Typhoon H has an Intel RealSense camera built in so it can avoid colliding with objects without any user input. Which brings us to our final trend, car technology. Cars without mirrors? 
BMW did this with their i8 concept, which was a huge hit at CES. It uses several extremely low latency cameras and a high resolution screen instead of a rear view mirror with wing quote unquote mirrors with cameras on them to give you a real time look behind and to the sides of the car with much better viewing angles than traditional mirrors and even glancing over your shoulder. Google also looks like they're going to have some competition in the autonomous car market with Ford showing off a self-driving focus that they hope to price low enough to be accessible to the masses. Nvidia also showed off its Nvidia Drive PX2, an updated version of the original Drive released last year. It's the computer that could control your first self-driving car. It's as powerful as 150 MacBook Pros or six Titan Xs, and it's even liquid-cooled. It also uses cloud-based deep machine learning to improve. Volvo has already adopted the technology. This video on the top five tech trends at CES 2016 was brought to you by Mastrop. Mastrop is the place to go to get awesome deals, whether it's on, you know, computer parts or keyboards or monitors or ultralights or whatever the case may be. Mastrop has got so much cool stuff and they're always getting more because the way Mastrop works is the community finds cool stuff that they want and Mastrop works through authorized resellers, distributors, and the manufacturers them themselves to get great deals on those items for the mass drop community. And the more people commit to buy, the lower the price goes. They've actually got one of our favorite products on there right now, one of LG's ultra wide monitors. And this one is available for purchase on mass drop right now. But of course, there's so much more to it than that. So head over to drawdops slash Linus dash CES dash LG 34 to see all the great stuff that they've got there or even request an item that you don't see. Thanks for watching this video on the top five tech trends at CES 2016. Don't miss any of our videos by making sure that you hit that subscribe button.